Fursuiting. The act of dressing yourself in the mask of a custom-designed animal persona. The art in fursuit making is a creative, vast, diverse array of talented artists creating impressive and complex design. And making your own is the way many dodge the large fees needed to commission a professional maker, costing upwards of thousands of dollars to commission a professionally made suit. Although crafting your own is the route the subject of today chose. Although their methods of production are questionable at the very least. Allow me to introduce you to Carpet Sample. Described as a sickening beast, the worst and most disgusting fursuit ever, and that is because his fursuit is produced using the leftover material from plush toys he has fornicated with. Immediately you can see how people may be disturbed by the sight of this suit. Coupled with the fact he reportedly smelt strongly of urine and part of the suit never being washed. In this video I will detail some of the many aspects about this so called carpet sample. And if you thought just the sight of this beast was all that there was to it, then you are sorely mistaken. To begin I should back up my statements on the plushophilia portion, although I will advise that later in this video we discuss topics of zoophilia and pedophilia, so an advisory warning I guess. The user behind Carpet Sample has many, and I mean many aliases, most commonly going by the name Shadow Wolf S, but for convenience I will address them by their name, Bill, real name William. Bill is very direct about his identity. There are countless examples of this, but for now I'll read you his So Furry account bio. Note that this was written about 14 years ago. I'm a 52 year old furry bisexual and an active plushophile. Yiffy art is my passion and I do commissions cheap or free for comments. Plushophilia is exactly what you think it is. Bill would collect plush toys from neighboring Goodwills and thrift stores before having his own way with them. After he is finished with his activities, he will then create his fursuit abominations, which yes, there is more of them. He would create these patchwork abominations from the skinned fur of these plush toys. Without taking any care in washing off any leftover seat or anything on the fur. In a quote from Bill he says this, You just cut off pieces of fur to the right shape and glue them on in layers building up the cheeks with couch foam, foam from old couch cushions or cardboard etc. With that context in mind the fursuit becomes even more creepy. Although, unlucky for us, Bill has provided descriptions of his favourite personally owned plush toys. I have my own version which is a non-amphro female Saint Bernard around 3 feet tall sitting. Bill would then go on to explain in graphic detail the methods and how he used a sex toy to turn what would have been an innocent plush toy into one he could have his way with, ending his story by claiming, it is heaven woof. <laughs> Aside from fursuit making, Bill was fond of the traditional art piece as well. Unfortunately, I don't believe I can show you any of the professionally drawn crayon masterpieces, although know that it does include a piece that was attached to this atrocious quote. But alongside that, there is also artwork of Stella from Over the Hedge, clearly the Da Vinci of his time. Moving away from artwork, now we start delving further into insanity, and where creepy and disturbing goes to terrifying and criminal. Bill had several pets, but dogs were his preference. And I mean that in the literal way. What Bill put these dogs through, I cannot describe to you. So I've censored the necessary parts in order to save your poor ears. Hey all you other zoos, I love to sc large willing dogs and v I also love to be by medium sized dogs, but have taken my Dane Tommy's 8 inch up my ass, all except his 4 inch ouch. If you do also, and have pics please PM me, here or at my personal email. I haven't yet s***ed a male husky, but I will as soon as I get one for a pet. They are really into my friends assured me. If not, well, he can always s*** me, mmm, nice. In another quote, Bill would claim to love all of his partners meaning his dogs, mini ponies, pygmy goats, etc. There are images of Bill with said dogs that I don't think I can actually show you. They have been posted to YouTube as they don't include any bodily parts, but I don't trust that this video will be kept safe regardless, so you'll have to seek the photo out for yourself, but don't. In other photos, it looks as if the dogs are living in very poor conditions. 
Bill's zoophilia has landed him in trouble during furry conventions he has attended. For example, he was banned after an encounter he had in an elevator. Another furry who was in use of the elevator was handicapped and required an assistance dog. Bill would make inappropriate comments and attempt to propose sexual activities with the dog. Inappropriate comments was an act he had apparently been known to commit in public often. This would get him banned from convention sites. Another aspect of Bill that adds to the criminal resume can be seen in his grooming and overall creepy way he approaches minors. Bill has allegedly exchanged sex with a minor for alcohol, really just painting him as a disgusting person in every box. Obviously with the things I've listed so far, naturally this guy was very noticeable, so there are plenty of documented witness sightings of this guy. For example, Reddit user ED3891 would detail a story in which Bill would reportedly pursue them away from the con and through alleyways. Luckily the person made it back to the con to inform security, but they also describe how a friend of theirs encountered them at a now defunct Oaklicon, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, in which they had to put up with the smell, the looks, and the unwanted discussion of how he had made the suit, which is a trait Bill had often. There are many stories of Bill starting unwanted conversation, ranging from how he made the suit to the vid no! on it. Carpet sample, shadow wolfess, Bill, whatever this guy chooses to go by, is the equivalent of a real life SCP in the furry fandom. An amalgamation of leftover plush toys that he adorns before attending furry conventions. Reeking of death and harassing congoers. I saw someone describe him as the final boss of furries, which is an extremely fitting title. When I started researching this, I expected a mere interesting story about a plushophile, although I would soon learn that Carpet Sample is among the worst examples of furries you can find on the internet. The more you look into him, the worse it gets. And that is all the internet I can stomach today. Hope you enjoyed the quick video for you guys. I didn't want to leave you without content for too long now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And goodbye. Also, don't forget to follow my Twitter. And I recently got an Instagram that I'm testing out for the channel. That's all. Good night.